Hello and welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oakley Hadef and I'm going to be walking you through our first community created gun show for Halo 4. So we did a whole series of different gun shows in Halo Reach. It was a popular theme that I first started, showed it to you guys and then you guys came back and submitted a whole bunch of guns. They're really cool, um, ranging from all sorts of UNSC theme to Covenant theme ones. And now what you can see here are two maps that I'll be featuring made by the community and of course we'll be seeing more in the future but these are predominantly going to be UNSC themed guns uh, for the most part. So they range in sizes and budgets uh, an aesthetic theme but they all look great and you can all use them on your maps. so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this one this was put together by Mitch012 so let's go ahead and get started now what we're gonna do is take a look at each of the guns individually sort of pick them apart and I guess where I'm gonna start is back here on the right so of course many of these guns you can't necessarily recreate on all the maps just because it uses um, at least here on impact the impact specific silos for some of the guns so you know some of these will be specific um, but the white colors that you see here on impact are really good for these guns and especially just the theme of a space battle um, these would go well on some sort of carrier um, spaceship or whatever a space battle so I think this is the best spot to build these guns so I'm glad these guys went ahead and built them here so this first one is gonna be simple you build up a silo down the bottom another silo here then he has a cylinder large here and then he puts circular ramps here so it's all building up crescendoing up to this gun here. Now for each of these guns you're gonna find they're gonna have a base so here he used a brace large facing this way and then a brace large brace tunnel excuse me facing that way so two of them together combined to make the base um, you can use whatever you want blocks but the brace tunnels look good when flipped over because they have all these yellow coloring lines on them nice textures and then they have interesting um, 3D geometry to them. Now moving up to the main barrel of the gun, what he has is a tunnel short like this. He uses the part that sticks out like this, puts it like this, angles it towards the barrel of the gun. Then he has a crate right here stuck on this side and on the other side. And what he did is he added some aesthetic touches. These are going to be crucial in adding to the believability. So here he has a terminal battery hooked by wires down to another down here. So that would be powering it. Then he puts some terminal lights and then up in front some columns. Of course, for the tip of the gun, what he did is he used these junction box to add even more lighting, even more detail. Over here, again, you can see a cylinder large with these uh, circular ramp smalls. In this case, he uses a tunnel along here just to make another base for the gun. Strut is going to be right here, and under it, you can see he has another tunnel short piece angling out this way. So I'll go ahead and put that down. And what I like is he made a whole bunch of different barrel designs. So this one looks like it could be sort of a spinning minigun type of design. So he used these base stripes sticking out, and right here it's got a capture plate on the front and the back to hook it together. I think that looks like a cool gun. And of course you can angle these up, down to the side, um, just so they don't look as bland all facing forward. Um, give them a little bit more action. This one over here is going to be a silo uh, 2. So this one's a bit fatter, stockier. Um, what he did is a whole bunch of different things. So the Y cross is going to be here. Sniper nest flipped upside down is going to form the bulk of the gun and I like it because it has this pipe detailing here then on either side two more sniper nests placed here ramps here on either side just to um, to link back up to the center and then up to the front what he had is he put two railings next to, next to each other just like this for the barrel of the gun and then two antenna smalls on either side actually over here antenna small in combination with this um, Dominion specific piece so adding more coloring to it as always looks great moving forward this is a, a dual barrel one um, this looks like it could launch multiple large missiles this one looks great the coloring that's purple is awesome um, and it just looks really sophisticated I love the texture and detail in this one so again build it up then what he's done down here is a brace tunnel right here another brace tunnel right here so two of them facing each other to form the basis then what he's done is he's put a teleporter frame just like this horizontally and this one perpendicular to it right here to brace it and hold it up then for the main arms of the gun what he's done is essentially put two struts together so I'll pull ahead pull apart one side of the gun so strut there then what he did is he put these packaging crates small here just so they're sticking out right there to give it some texture and then additionally what he did is he put these barricade smalls on the side it fills in perfectly right here and then right here what he did is uh, sort of an iron sight for the whole gun itself right here um, in between linking them so I think that looks really great 
Um, moving along, another stocky one you can see here, cylinder large, again ringed with a circular piece to make it look like it can pivot. Then corner 2x2 two two here, and this will expose the inside, but you can see it's a little more detailed. Um, teleporter frame here, strut making the main barrel of the gun, then he has these blocks, blocks, um, more of these packaging crates that look great, they change up the color and the detail, another block here, and then for the front what he did is he used a door. So you want to use anything that kind of sticks out and has a point for the different barrels and then a column here to support it. Then moving along here you have another um, missile launching one. This one looks really cool. It's cheap, simple to make. So ramp stunt here and then what he does is he's got a tunnel long again to form another one of these cool intricate looking bases. Then what he does down here, teleporter frame here to hold this up. Then the main uh, sort of canister is a block 1x4 here and what he did really ingeniously is put the cones here to be the missiles coming out of the front so that's a really cheap way to make a cool convincing rocket launcher. Over here he's got another one kind of mirroring the strut design over there so I won't necessarily pull the whole thing apart but in this case he put extraction cylinders in the place of the crates those look cool they have a nice shiny um, coloring effect to them and again he put these barricade smalls here and what he decided to do is put a random ordnance drop here this is just for aesthetic purposes but it does look cool for a crosshair. Now over here what you're going to see is a massive gun. I really like this one. This looks like it would be something Promethean just because of the glowing lights on the inside. So let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Again the huge silo 3 covering the basis of it. Then the main body of this is going to be this large walkway cover piece. Then what he has is a strut is going to be supporting it just like this. Brace tunnel comes up here, sits nicely there. And then what he starts doing is he pieces together excuse me, the barrel of his gun, so struts on either side. Then he builds up this large gun barrel made out of these silos. These will be moving upwards, um, moving into the main barrel of the gun that's going to be up here. He puts another one of these large walkway covers here, just so it sticks out a little bit further through the front. And then on the bottom what he does is he puts these brace tunnel pieces here. Then he covers up the rest of the inside with Y crosses and other things that he thinks look nice and aesthetic. Then over here for the gun barrel itself where the energy is going to be focused and coming out, he puts a ring of these antennas which looks really fearsome, uh, intimidating, just the lighting looks great. And then he puts a red light right in the center. So that about wraps it up for this submission. I think it looks great. Let's go ahead and move on to the next map in the series. And of course there are shmeefs in the background just to greet you guys and thank you for tuning in. Um, they are the builders of this map. So again, let's move on guys. So this next one that was submitted to us um, was submitted by Cody Bridge as you can see here um, but he had to upload it to his friends file share, Fallen Spider um, so just check the description below we'll make sure you guys know where to find it but just wanted to make sure you guys know Cody Bridge built this map and he gave us a little sign just to make sure um, that was clear. Um, over here, these are going to be some pretty advanced guns. I really like these. Not as many as the last ones, but definitely very highly detailed. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on this. So again, using the silos as the main focus for these pieces, these guns are amazing. Um, this one, let's go ahead and start looking at it. You can see there's struts here around the base, um, all together here, putting in... Uh, as a sort of a pivoting part for the base and now all of these pieces are locked so I'll go ahead for the sake of time and convenience just show you what this looks like. So on the inside what he's done is he's put this cockpit. What I really like is he's added the human element to this platform, stairs you can walk up to. You can essentially sit down here and control this whole vehicle from here. It adds the believability. It makes a set piece that you can actually have implemented on your map. So over here he has these various blocks, window pieces to make this cockpit and over here this is going to be a brace piece here antennas on either side and what happens here is he puts a bunch of blocks spiraling around together to make a sort of a circular cylindrical um, part as much as he could although uh, it's a bit more of a gear now because you can't make a full circle then over here what he has is these railings gearing up making this huge um, area right here and what it looks like is some sort of rail gun he has a bunch of these small uh, wire pieces coming through here it looks really cool um, and again, I love the human detail on these pieces. Uh, moving along here, you can see an even greater gun. The silo here, um, you know, fitted nicely onto this dish piece and it moves up into this main gun. Silo piece here, he uses the bunkers on either side. 
Then I love the silos in combination with the moving pieces on the inside, it looks cool. Um, so that's the station core. Then brace tunnel here, moving into a strut. Over here, this is a bunch of railings he uses to again pull off that circular uh, cylindrical shape. Railings again making the barrel of the gun, you can look down here. Um, even a monitor could fit in here, this is really cool. Then he has more of these antenna pieces around the side. And then again, here you can see the human detail, you can come here, sit, various control panels, I love it, it looks really cool. And you can even have these activate in a Dominion game and you know, um, you could add some real story to your game. Uh, now over here what we're going to do is see a little bit smaller size gun, so again, use of the silo. Um, I love how he angles this up, it makes it look like it, it's prepared for a little bit more recoil. Two blocks here next to each other, a bunch of blocks in the back, there he puts a cover crenellation. Over here, back to back barricades, and then again, a series of railings to make the barrel. Then over here, once again, the um, control station, and I kind of love how these are, um, they have folding chairs next to this huge gun emplacement, but uh, you know, it's pretty cool still, nonetheless. Then over back here, this is going to be kind of, I guess, a tactical nuke or something. It looks similar to what we saw in the Halo Force campaign, uh, where Chief had to dislodge it, and then you took out the Covenant carrier. Um, so that's kind of what this reminded me of. Um, and yeah, again, once again, it has the controller here, these control stations, you know, small details in the chairs. So this is pretty easy. The silos um, coming up vertically, and then these corner pieces coming out here. It's hinged together here. And then here he has some more fins for uh, a bit more aerodynamic ability. And um, yeah, thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. If you have your own gun submissions, uh, make sure to check the description below. Send them over to our forums and our aesthetic section. Uh, otherwise, enjoy these and make sure to download the maps. Give props to the creators. You guys are great. Thanks so much for tuning in one more time. See ya. Peace.